All right, today we are out here at the beach. We've got a bunch of gear, but most importantly today, we have the cast net. You guys know I've been kind of on a mission. The mullet run is just starting here. I'm from Delaware. I've never really experienced the true mullet run. So we've got the cast net. I just saw some, they're like not big school, but it was a school. They kind of like, this is what happened with that. Yeah, I missed them, but that is good. That is, that is life. So we are going to be trying to catch the mullet trying to catch some bigger fish with them today. But if we don't catch the mullet, like right now we don't have any mullet, we stopped at the bait shop and we got some bait. Tide's coming in, it is beautiful out here, not many people around. Let's get to it, man. I'm feeling something good today. All right, so we're just gonna leave the net right there. Dude, I keep seeing. See, it looks like the school's coming this way, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just like that, that school vanished. Usually it's easier to see if the uh, sun's out, you can kind of see the actual fish but it's not really sunny out and you kind of can just see like the wakes of the pods of the little schools they're not big supposedly the more we get into the fall there's gonna be like really big schools but these are tiny ones definitely castable though even with this boot on we can get them from shore for sure we'll stay on the lookout for that i just want to start fishing though yeah leave that there so here is the rig you're going to be running decent size setup in case i mean if you guys saw last time we were here there was some mullet and there was some freaking tarpon on the mullet so anything is possible we are going to be using this little this is one and a half ounce egg sinker it goes down to a swivel to a leader and to a little circle hook and then don't have mullet yet asterisk but we did stop at the bait shop and we have some mud minnows oh geez this might not be as enticing as the mullet, they're really taunting me. Right there's a little school of them. We're gonna check them out. Right there, and we're gonna see what is possible. Possibility for flounder and just everything that swims in the freaking ocean. I think the plan here first is just to kind of cast it out, let the fish do a little bit of swimming, see if it'll entice anything by, but I'm just gonna gently drag it back. See if there's any fish swimming on these rocks that are hungry. And the tide is actually coming in, so it is coming this way and it'll be ripping around the rocks. So possibly some stuff is on this side, waiting for a good ambush. Waiting for a nice juicy mud minnow. Maybe they don't even want the freaking mullet, man. Maybe they're just like in the mood for some mud minners. Oh no, big school of mullet right there. Big, 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 big. That is so frustrating. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's just ripples on top of the water, but they're just they're just going that way. That's a big dude. There's still that is so much mullet. You're telling me there's nothing on those? Just waiting to see a big explosion. That's a good sign. Man. Wherever there's bait, that's always that's always positive, right? They might be teasing me every time I grab my net. They're like, Whoosh. it's like that SpongeBob episode where like every time the bus would come, and he'd like, you know, eat, er, eat. That's me when I grab my net. They just disappear. It's like they know, man. I'm the pancake master. I'm just so incredibly skilled at... Oh, I just got bit, dude. Look at that. Look at that. We're getting bit. Oh, no. Did we get bit in half or something? I don't know what happened. This freaking minnow got clocked. He is out. That was weird. We definitely got like whacked by something. Because those things don't usually just like do that. They're pretty like sturdy.
here we go, here we go. I think I threw it right in front of them. Dang it. That was a perfect throw too. No. I know you guys might not be able to see every throw just because trying to throw and film with this setup is not the easiest. But we we, we throw it. It's like it's not even that it's not opening. It's just if you guys have ever cast netted for mullet and there's like not a ton of them, they're in this little school and they just zoom, zoom, zoom. So you can kind of see the trail of them. So you kind of want to cast ahead of them. But sometimes I'm like going too far ahead and then maybe I'm just missing them. And I can't really tell how many are in these schools. It's uh, yeah, we're working on it. I've just kind of been moving my mud minnow around, kind of reeled it in, bounced it around, and now I just kind of got it placed on the bottom over there. I mean, I'm surprised nothing's really smacked it. Got our drag loose just in case, but I just, I really today, I want to catch some mullet. It might seem like, you know, to some people, oh, that's, you know, just go catch the mullet. For whatever reason, it has just been such a struggle. For me and for this cast net i mean i'm not the best you guys know that one day we'll become a pancake pro you gotta start somewhere right? i just think if i can cast net some mullet it'll just be a cool start to what hopefully is going to be a good mullet run this year in florida and as i said i'm from delaware we don't really get a mullet run i mean technically we do but there's honestly like no mullet like last year when i was around it was like nothing it should be a complete 360 here once it starts to pop off and i think just to get it popped off in my mind I just want to catch, I just want at least. I understand we're not here at the ideal time or tide or anything, but they're here and I got the gear. All right, I'm gonna try a little bit more right now. Then we might pick up the net later. I might just actually try to catch some fish right now. Instead of having that minnow just like on the bottom chilling, he needs to get to work. Do you have a fish on here? Hello? Just sitting out there. Do you, oh no. I don't know what the heck that was. Realistically, could have been a crab or something. Hmm. All right. Well, with some kind of weight. I mean, it could have been a branch too, but I felt it like kind of tugging a little. Sometimes branches do do that. We're just gonna say that was a crab. Come on, fish. Tidy's getting to that point where I'm pretty sure there should be some bigger fish in here looking to feed. I don't know what to say, man. It looks like it's starting to get a little dry out here. As far as bait goes, uh... <laughs> Maybe they're just like at lunch break or something. I'm just gonna kind of walk the minnow though. We're just gonna kind of bounce around. Walk down here. We can always on our walk see if we see any shells and like shark teeth or something. Just trying to see if we can get anything's attention. Besides, I did see a crab. There's like a couple feet off of the sand. So there's definitely like crabs in there. That's probably what bit me off earlier. I was suspicious of them. <sighs> yep. The day that I'm filming this, as you guys can see, I mean, it's beautiful weather out here. But the rest of the week, it is supposed to, like the next four or five days, it's supposed to storm. And just rain and rain and rain. So I think after all that, that is really going to be hopefully when everything picks up and baits everywhere. I'm going to relaunch this out yonder. That's all I keep hearing though. Everybody's like, oh, the first nor'easter. That's when things get popping. We'll kind of get to see if that's the case. Again, I'm like new to this area. So basically every day I go out, almost everything I do, it's just like all pretty newish. And we're just experimenting and living life, you know? No guide. Nobody telling me, oh, do this, do that. We're just kind of chilling and vibing and seeing where uh, the end of our line takes us.
Oh. There we go. It's on. Fish on. What we got here? First fish. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. What is that? Oh, yeah. Heck yeah, dude. First fish of the day. That was in close. Oh, first fish is a nice flounder. Okay, chill. I did not think that was going to be a flounder. All right. Relax real quick. Boom. Whoa. All right. Where's the lighting? Boom. They have to be 14 inches. This dude is probably, honestly, 14 inches. If you guys do want to see a flounder catch and cook, that was literally... <laughs> I get it. I'll let you go. Just one last look. Boom. <laughs> Getting back in there. Yes. All right. We're all sandy now. As I was saying, last video we did a flounder catch and cook. We caught a bigger flounder than that, believe it or not and it was freaking delicious. Now we are a little more sandy, but we have one more flounder to the tally. I am always down to clown with some freaking flounder, dude. I don't know if you guys saw, he bit, and then I didn't have anything on, and I just kind of like left it there for a second, and he came back for it. I was not even that far out, too. We're gonna go like right, right in there. Hopefully we don't get stuck. All right, you guys dirty. Oh, man. That is so sick. There was just a guy to my right too. He's been fishing here for a long time. He just left. It was like, he's my freaking bad luck charm or something. <laughs> right where that guy leaves, dude. Whew. Maybe it's gonna start to turn on here. As I said, that was pretty close in. I'm gonna try to use the clue from that bite that we just got and try to maybe dial our stuff back a little bit. I've been casting real far. Maybe we don't need to get that far out. Let's see. Also, that guy was, uh, he was fishing there for a while, but he was actually using, I think it was cut shrimp. So in a second, I'm about to go right over there where he was fishing and try the other side of this jetty that is now submerged and see if there's any fish in there that didn't want shrimp, but maybe, you know, nice juicy mud minnow. Sounds a little more appetizing. I know I've said this a lot before, but that's seriously like one of the most difficult things. I mean, it's day to day. It's spot to spot. Just finding the fish. It can be hard to just find that first one, especially from shore. I mean, you don't really, you know, you can't go to every single spot everywhere. But with a little bit of patience, anything's possible. Most of the time. All right, Let's see if anything's on this side of the jetty. There's a nice little like uh, drop off, a little bit out there. Usually on the outgoing tides and. Wander like to chill out right there. Super nice as of right now. We're like the only people fishing. These waves, water, it's just relaxing. I just, dude, I would love for a big old school tomorrow to just come and just, just pause for a sec. Just hop in the net. Another thing I am seeing a lot of, like there's one right there, there's a lot of, uh, I guess they're called needlefish. Sometimes I get those confused with houndfish, but I think those are just like needlefish. There's like, I've seen a bunch. Something else I keep forgetting, which would probably make everything easier. Well, everything will probably actually be made easier for sure if we had a uh, beach cart, which I've kind of been hinting at getting. I just don't know which one to get. I'm thinking I should probably get one with inflatable wheels so I can bring it on the soft sand and stuff, but there's so many different kinds, man. If you have, again, any suggestions, please let me know down in the comment section below. But along with that, I mean, I could put a chair on that and then I could have a chair out here. I think that would be nice. I have a chair. I just don't carry it because we got a lot of stuff to carry. All right. Let's get serious now. Now that we know there's at least one flounder around, there's got to be more. Okay. 
asked a bit more on this side of the jetty, and we're just gonna we're just gonna work the heck out of this beach. Oh, there's a bite. There we go. Oh no. Can take it. What in the? You guys see that? Something like freaking smack my rod straight down. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Unless that's a crab we got a fish on. That might be a crab. Here we go. Got it. What is that? Oh my God. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about, man. Okay. Well, we were getting bit. That is so freaking cute, man. No offense if you don't appreciate that description. You are just a baby. Wow. No wonder we weren't hooking you right away. Look at that, man. That right there just made the whole day. You are just a baby. <laughs> All right, let's let you back in here. It's crazy how aggressive they are though. I mean, I, I just kept pitching. Must have been the same fish. Kept pitching at him. Okay, there you go. Wow, they blend in so, dude. They are seriously master blenders. Getting like slightly knocked and then it would kind of eat it and then it wouldn't eat it. It's just cool, man. I think of those dudes like, you know when you go out to breakfast, get those little mini dollar pancakes? That's what that is. A little dollar flounder. Baby flatty. He someday we'll be on his way to being a full grown pancake, hopefully. Frick. Hours in the sand and the sun, the mullet run has just begun. I don't know what I'm saying. Peep this sunset. Peep me reevaluating my cast net career. Okay, now obviously I'm not from around here. I never claimed to be the mullet king. I don't really know where to go this time of year. I'm kind of debating, like, have you guys ever seen those crazy videos down in South Florida when the mullet run's going on? Apparently there's already a bunch of mullet down there, but like the big tarpon, big snook, all this stuff, and it's like clear blue water and you can see them from above. It's like the coolest freaking, it's like some animal planet stuff. So I'm debating on going down there, but yeah, these fishing videos, some of these that I, we upload to this channel. Hi buddy. You guys kind of know by now, these are like just fishing videos. They're not fishing highlights. It's just me, a guy from Delaware, trying to do what he could do around here and just vibing. Appreciate y'all who uh, enjoy these videos. <sighs> it's just this foot, man. Like this has honestly been one of the toughest years, like physically, maybe the toughest in my life. I've never really been like injured. I feel like I've just been limited and in that sense, like these videos have kind of been limited as well because we can't do a lot of things that I had planned. I can't really kayak or wade or really do any of that. It's just, it's hard to complain because I'm out fishing and I know things could be worse, things could always be worse. Man, it has been a rough nine months. As of right now, I think there's something wrong with the cuboid on my left foot. It's kind of like the outer 
bone um, on your foot. If, you, if any of you guys know anything about those, hit me up. I just feel bad because, like, especially for this mullet run, like, it'd be so cool to be even just be able to wade in the water and cast that. I feel like it'd be a lot easier. Or just like go out on the kayak. I'm sure there's a lot of cool stuff out in these creeks and just around the area right now. I just gotta keep reminding myself that you know the kayaking and all that stuff that that'll come wading the creeks and stuff. I just gotta get my body right, but at the same time, it's like you know I want to make cool videos for y'all. This freaking foot, man. Someday we're gonna look back at this and be like, oh yeah, remember that that foot? That was that was a dumb foot. Maybe I'll turn into General Grievous, have like some freaking robotic body parts, human android fisherman. I don't freaking know, man. I, just, I, don't, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Call it a little baby pancake flounder. We call it a big old flounder. We'll catch some mullet. We'll catch some big fish. I just want y'all to know, man. I'm trying out here, all right? We're not uploading as much as, you know, I've done in the past. And we're not, you know, doing as much other random stuff as I've done in the past. But we are working on it. And one day, we'll get back to normal. And this whole foot thing will be just a, you know, funny memory. Super, super funny. All right, dude? As always, thank y'all so much for all the free good support, man. All I got to say is let's keep this rolling. Thank y'all for watching. See you next video. You wanna know just where